Hi guys, Stephanie here with another Bibliophones video, and today I'm bringing you what I read in the month of March. In the month of March, I deemed it middle grade March. I planned on reading a bunch of middle grade books. These books being the books that I wanted to read. What I ended up reading was these books, plus four audiobooks. So totally went off the path of middle grade. I only read about three middle grade. This one is technically young adult. And then one, two, and the other four are adult books. So I read three middle grade books. Kind of figured I'd do something like that, but here's what I read. So while in the month of March, I planned on reading six books, but I actually ended up reading 10. Four of them were audiobooks and six were physical copies. I am super proud of myself because in the physical copies, I actually read 2,139 pages. I am super proud of myself. I did not expect to even read four books this month. It has been a crazy month at work. Um, one of our girls just went on maternity leave and it has just been absolutely nuts. I've been getting very little sleep and I'm getting ready to go on vacation next month and it has just been absolutely insane. So to tell you all that, let's get into the books that I did read. So the first book that I read as far as my middle grade books are concerned was Sisters Grimm by Michael Buckley. And <laughs> this book is about the Grimm family line and these two sisters who find out that they're Grimm's, like the actual fairy tale Grimm's, and their names are Sabrina and Daphne. I absolutely love these two characters. They are adorable. And they're your typical, I don't wanna say your typical kids, but one's adventurous, one's not so adventurous, one's super protective, one is a kid, and one is her older sister. They have been passed from foster home to foster home, and now they're actually back home. Like, they're with their grandma and her butler. And then things start happening. Like, fairies attack them, and pixies are all of a sudden showing up at the house. And then there's a mystery about a giant. And that's when they really start digging into their family line and really embracing who they are because, which will give the whole story away, I so I can't get into it, but it's about their adventure and the mystery of this giant. The next book, which I was super surprised that it was a book. I watched the movie when I was a kid, absolutely loved the movie, and that book is Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim by Robert C. O'Brien. And this book is about Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. She has to go to, on a whole bunch of different quests because her son Timmy is sick and they're having trouble because it's starting to become spring. Spring has come early, I believe. And Timmy has like pneumonia. He has like a cough and he can't really move around because it's still cold outside and it's still, it's not really good weather. So they can't, what they call is moving day they can't move their house because where they have their houses, it's right in the middle of the farm's, farmer's field. And if they stay where they're at, they're gonna die. But if they move, Timmy might die. So she has to go to the rats and Nim to get their help because these are like super smart rats. And they end up helping each other out, which was super cool. And it was so interesting hearing from the book's perspective versus the movie's perspective, which they did kind of correlate a lot. But I was just so happy that it was a book because I, I love books, especially about mice because they're adorable. Like I read The Tale of Despero and I absolutely enjoyed that book. He's just super cute. The last middle grade book that I read, Merlin and the Lost Years by T.A. Uh, Barron. And this book is about Merlin and his when he was a kid. And I did not know this, but I am not really into King Arthur and the tales of that. So like I knew Merlin was King Arthur's wizard, but I did not know that Merlin was blind and that he was really old during that time. Well, I knew he was really old cause you know, beard and everything. So it was very interesting getting into the story because 
he in the beginning just to kind of give you a little little bit what it's about he when you first start reading this you find out he doesn't know who he is he has lost his memory of his past and he's in a strange land and he ends up being with a woman that he thinks is his mom but he's not sure because she's not really telling him what's going on so it's really really interesting of how this starts out and by the end he has figured out who he is he has changed his name to Merlin, and I can't really tell you the adventure that goes on because that gives so much of the story away, but it is such a, such a good book. That is it. That is all that I read for middle grade March. So let's continue on with what I read, not middle grade. This first book that I read, I absolutely hate the covers, but first book that I read was Moon Called by Tr Patricia Briggs. And if you do not know who Patricia Briggs is, she is an absolute genius when she writes her books. So this book is about Mercy Thompson. She is a VW mechanic in Kennewick. And it is about her adventure because one of her, her, her neighbor that is behind her house uh, across the field, he is the um, alpha of a werewolf pack in the Columbian Basin area. I have read this book a couple times, so I really enjoy this series so much and I'm starting to get into her other series that kind of uh, dive into the world of Mercy Thompson, but it's different characters and it is super, super good. But going along with this adventure, uh, Mercy Thompson gets into some trouble and there's a mystery and super fun, super awesome. So I really enjoy this book, but again, I don't like the covers. I don't like the covers at all. So with the whole Mercy Thompson thing, because I had listened to Bloodbound, which is the second book, and then Iron Kiss, which is the third book. And then because I had read all these books, I jumped, instead of reading them through, I jumped to the eighth book, eighth book, which is the next book that I needed to read to continue on the story. So in this one, uh, Night Broken. <sighs> so good. So good. One of the last physical books that I read was Gemini, the part of the Illuminae Files by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. This is a roller coaster of emotions of a book. And you wouldn't think so because it's not written in the traditional sense of he said, he said, she said, and then descriptions. It is all dossiers oh hey that's cool i opened it up to her artwork it's all dossiers and emails back and forth and video surveillances and instant messages and it is just crazy but this book being the second book in the illuminate files this book is about two characters hannah Don donnelly and nick malakova and to tell you what happens i'll tell you a little bit i don't care i'll tell you a little bit so they live on this um, jump station and it's called Jump Station Heimdall, duh. And they get invaded by this company called Baytech. And it is about Hannah Donnelly and Nick Malkova and their adventure through trying to defeat these people and trying to just survive and not get killed and falling in love. And it's just so amazing. You guys should read it because it's that good. Anyways, so it's a very good book. You should pick it up. So that is my last physical copy that I read. And then the next two books that I listened to was uh, The Negotiator and The Guardian by Dee Henderson. Now that, I read those when I was a teenager and it is, they are Christian fiction and they are mysteries, sort of mystery, sort of thriller. And it's so, so good. And it was just so much fun just diving into nostalgia. But the first book, uh, The Negotiator, is about our main character named Kate O'Malley. And the whole series is about the O'Malley family. You have this group of seven children that are in this foster system and they decide to adopt each other. They change their last names when they could and uh, all of them are in various types of um, like search and rescue, hostage negotiator, uh, U.S. Marshal, Forensic Pathologist. It's it's super, super cool. 
and it first got me into reading mysteries and things like that. So The Negotiator is about Kate O'Malley, which she is the second to oldest person, our family member in the O'Malley family, and she is a hostage negotiator. And of course, there's a mystery and true love, and it's so good. And then you continue on with The Guardian, which is about Marcus O'Malley, who is the U.S. Marshal, and of course, mystery. Mystery, falling in love, and just super goodness. But I will get into those a little bit later because in the month of April, yes, I do plan on vlogging. I hope I can vlog. So we'll see how well that goes. But that is all that I read, guys, and listened to in the month of March. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and I will see you guys later. But until next time, this is an Bibliophobe signing off. Bye. With the middle grade books that I read.